In this video, we're going to talk about the Manage Properties area. So anytime you add a new listing to Listings Magic, you will end up at the Manage Properties area. Or if you want to get to the Manage Properties area, you simply go to Account Dashboard and Manage Properties, or right here, click Manage Properties. So very easy, a couple different ways to get there. And once you're there, all of the properties, um, assets, if you will, will be available here for you to either see or manage or update. And so we have a particular property here. There's a couple of different tour options that you can take a look at. Um, and we're just gonna go over these at a high level and then we'll do additional videos to go into a deeper dive. But the, the area itself is broken down into some different categories. So we've got the syndication, publishing and print options. Those are these options here. We have the property options. Those are the options here. And there's a couple of different things that you can do there. And then email and reporting and then lead management and lead generation options down here at the bottom. And then you have a couple uh, account options here as well that'll take you into your account itself. And so we're just gonna talk a little bit about these. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is, is you have the ability to record an intro video and or upload an intro video. So if you've got a video that you've created that you have in an MP4 format, or if you wanna record one that you wanna do on the front side of your virtual tour, you can do that here. This was added. Uh, right around the time COVID kicked in and it allowed agents to do the video, but you could also have your sellers do a video. If you remember, uh, there was no uh, in-person showings or in-person meetings that were allowed for a while. So that was kind of implemented there. And so that's the first one. If you want to update the virtual tour and change things, you want to change the color, the music, uh, anything like that, that's going to be done through the marketing details. And again, we're going to do additional videos on how to manage those. Uh, this is going to be a quick intro video to that. If you want to change information about the actual property itself, the square footage, the description, bedrooms, bathrooms, things of that nature, that will be done here. You can add a banner to the tour that will go in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, if you need the URL for your virtual tours, if you need an unbranded version, that's where you would get that here. If you want to set up a voiceover, now, a lot of people want to just leave some information. They don't want to do a video. They want to leave a voiceover. You can do that here. And then if you want to set up a vanity URL, so it's uh, it's got its own domain and website, you would do that here. If you want to submit it to the MLS, some properties we are able to submit it automatically. And if that's the case, then we will submit it. If not, then you will have the option to tell us that you've submitted it. We just It's just a reminder to make sure you put the tour into the MLS because that's gonna get a lot more views uh, a lot more people looking at it and a lot more traffic so that you can show your sellers you know, how much exposure the property is getting online. Uh, social media, that's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to have the opportunity to publish it to all the various websites that are out there. And then Craigslist, very simple and easy tool to post to Craigslist. You do need a Craigslist account, so I want to just give you a heads up there that in order for this tool to work, you need to have a Craigslist account set up and in place. But once you do, it's about a two-minute process to get your listings up onto Craigslist. Uh, videos, we're going to build a video for the property. Uh, if you want to, you can connect your YouTube channel like this account is connected. If not, we'll send the videos to our channel. We have a lot of different brochure options to choose from, so you can get those created very quickly and easily, and they're beautiful. Same thing with just listening to sold postcards. Uh, this is a legacy we've been around for a long time, since 2006, and so Active Rain is still out there. It's not nearly what it once was, but some agents still use it. So if you want to publish to Active Rain, you can do that here. And then that's the section on syndication, publishing, and print. Property options, same thing. We give you, this is the same thing that we just saw a little while ago. We just put it in two places because it just depends on how some people think. So we already talked about these. It's just another place to find those. If you want to manage the actual photos, you can do that. You want to get a branded property photo, you can do that here. So really nice feature. If you want to do a, you want to brand any photo, you have a photo that you've got that you want to put branding on, we give you a tool to do that as well. And if you want to get a zip file of all the photos, that's where you would do that here. And you can get a zip file of all branded photos. So you can use those. Some people will upload those into Zillow and use it as a great lead generator. If you want to get the QR code for the property, you can do that here. That's something some people use in other online and or print material. QR codes have obviously made a comeback since uh, COVID has uh, kind of changed the way we look at menus at restaurants, for example. If you have a Matterport or another 3D tour that you want to embed, you can do that and it'll actually reside inside your virtual tour. So that's powerful. And if you want to duplicate this property, you can do that here. 
you want to delete the property, pretty self-explanatory, you would do that here. And so those are the property options. And then email and reporting options. Link share. So this is a really cool tool. We're going to actually go out and find your listing on all the various websites that we can find it on. Something that would take you probably an hour of time to do, we do in seconds, and then you can show your sellers. Look at all the exposure. So we'll, we'll do, again, additional videos on each of these. If you want to show them all the marketing in one succinct email, uh, you would do that through this marketing email. You could just send that to your sellers here or send it to yourself and then forward it. Uh, if you want to do a just listed or just sold um, or just a, or an open house email, you can do that. If you want to broadcast your listing and let other agents know about it, we have an agent database all across the U.S. You could do that through this tool here. And then lead management, if you want to manage your leads, you would do that here in the lead dashboard. If you want to use a text lead generator, you have that for each property. So if somebody were to call or text to this number, this property code, they will get the property information texted to them and a voice description of the property, and then you will get a lead. Great lead generator. And if you want to, there's chat inside of the virtual tours. We're going to definitely talk about that. It's another great lead generator, and it's a great thing to show in listing presentations, but you can manage the chat. If you want to change things about that, you can do that as well. Uh, we have a whole video uh, tool where you can actually send video emails out. You can respond to your leads with video. So very powerful. And then a writer sign. Of course, writer signs are a great green friendly tool, great lead generator. You can order writer signs or manage the existing writer signs through here. And then we have a whole unique and innovative valuation pages tool that some companies charge $100 a month for, and we include it into our package, and we'll show you that here in another video later, but that's how you'd manage your valuation pages. And then your account options are pretty straightforward. Either uh, edit your account information or change the marketing defaults for your account. And again, we'll go into those in a later video. So that's the managed properties area, and look for additional videos on how to go in and manage some of these things uniquely. And as always, any questions, support at listingsmagic.com, or you can call us at 866-831-8639.